going to talk a bit about homework. I don't know the ages of your children. Do you just put your hands up if you're already having homework with... Oh, pretty well everyone. OK. And for how many of you is this a problem? <laughs> Quite a lot. OK. Well, what we think is the best way to approach this is to start, first of all, with creating a habit for homework. You've managed to create, most of you, I'm sure, a habit for cleaning teeth, although there may still be the odd problem with that. But homework really needs to be, in a way, treated the same way. And we suggest that you keep it as a part of the school day and you routinely get them starting work um, soon after returning home preferably using a kitchen timer. Now, I'm very hot on Chris kitchen timers. So I've even brought one. <laughs> this is one of ours. Um, they are really helpful, whereas clocks and watches, if they can tell the time is, a, is, is an irrelevant part of this, because um, they involve youngsters looking at the time, thinking about the time and not actually thinking and focusing on what you're wanting them to do. So if you get your child as a routine, you can even set timer 15 minutes of milling around by which time, 15, 20 minutes you expect them to be sitting at the table wherever it is they're going to do their homework with their school bag there and the stuff out ready to start the homework and this homework you can again do in chunks shorter periods moving up to 15 minute chunks with the older children um, is what I we find works best you will need to teach your child to prepare um, what it is they have to do, they have to know um, and to plan how long it's got, how long they've got to do the work, how, what they're expected to do, what equipment they need, um, and, and so on. If they haven't brought their homework diary home, which often they don't, um, you will, they will, they not you, they will probably have to phone up a friend, get the information. Now, you want to discourage them doing that too much because you want to be training them to remember to do that um, on their own accord. And that's why it's really helpful to use a systematic use of rewards because there isn't any other way of actually getting these children to have it in their minds that this is what they need to be doing and to be doing it regularly. And that's a whole other subject in itself because it's how you do the rewards that's going to be critical to whether or not it's successful in helping your child develop these skills uh, that you want them to do. Um, I've mentioned that an organisation chart can be useful for you and your child keeping tabs on what um, what they're doing, what they're working on. Older children, I mean, it, it does work best with old children, but with younger ones you can do something slightly modified for that. But for all the ones that... I'm going to hold this up because what I like to do is to suggest that those children who get up to four homeworks a night, which they soon will, all too soon will be, that they make a note of each subject, so up to four, this is one day's worth of homeworks, and they make a note of the date given, the work, what it is, when it's due in by, when they've done it by, even if they've done it in advance, whether they've handed it in on time and uh, feedback from the teacher. And if they're in control of this, the, the child, it will give them a, a way of keeping 
tabs on their own performance. They know if they're getting their work in or not. Um, you know, you see, if lots of children will say, I haven't been given any homework, and haha, <laughs> they have. Um, but if they're instructed to write no, no work given, then it will help. And if they're in control of this, and they're again, this has got to be linked in with a proper reward scheme, otherwise it, it's not going to work. It's very quick to do once, once a child gets into um, the habit of... What age would you expect a child to be able to... I know everyone's different. Does that look to me to be quite complex? Because the age Yes, but sort of... 12, 12, yes. So you can start to do it slightly more simple, you know, we do a slightly simplified version. You don't need to have about work done in advance, but, you know, basically, uh, what is it? Are they getting it done? Have they handed it in? Do they feel that like as soon as they come home from school? So yes. tonight I have, and then somebody yes. actually so, sit down to do the homework, they, they fill in a list of... So what they should do, they should sit down, get out their stuff and say, right, I'm going to do geography now. I'm going to start with geography. They'll fill in the geography there. Today's date should... So this would be, let's say, a Friday's date. Note what it was. It takes 30 seconds to fill it in, not even. But it's there, the whole terms work at a glance. Okay. Um, so the rewards, as I've said, that can be really quite complex. I mean, with the younger children, or well, with all children, praise is always helpful. But use of stickers of all kinds for younger children, and I'd like to suggest a, a point system for the older ones, where you sort of set out a, your agreement rules that one point will be given for, say, each 15 minutes' work, and for an hour, instead of four points, it would be five points, so you build in incentives all the time, um, and that these are added up at the end of the day and traded in for something exciting. But, as I was mentioning earlier, it really is, does need to be done in a, a, an interesting way, so you can have, I don't know... A, a stick going up the wall where you've got notches or um, colouring in a, a football and so many points is one little section of, of the ball and when they've got those all coloured in, so you, those who can colour them in, um, you've got your ball or whatever it is you want. <coughs> 